I bought VDV to Pro Tester for personal use. It have a robust uh, sturdy body, nothing creaks, uh, creaks, uh, so solid build quality. Tester assembled in Malaysia. Terminator unit has RJ45, RJ12 and detachable coax terminator. Do not attach AC power or telecom cables carrying more than 60 volts. Tester may be damaged. Tester powered by easy replaceable 9 volt battery. Battery is included when you buy this tester. For voice uh, port use RJ11, RJ12, RJ14 or RJ25 cables. For video or coax port use uh, 75 ohm coax cables. In coax mode it shows uh, sh shield and uh, pin 1. In data mode if we press tools button we have link blink function. Also, we can change cable velocity, basically calibrate uh, TDR meter. Set backlight time after any button press it. Also, we can change measurement system from meters to feet or vice versa. To test patch cord, I selected data mode. One uh, end of the cable goes to data port, another to terminator. Notice how fast it works. Few milliseconds uh, have passed and we have already see a result. It works faster than Fluke Cable IQ, Fluke Micro Scanner 2 or Kurt Electronics uh, 7100. If I press data mode button I can uh, check individual pair length. This time I check it uh, shield cable. S is shown if uh, shield is connected. Now connected live base uh, 100 link from my Mikrotik router. Notice cable length 18 meters. Now connected same cable but Mikrotik turn it off. So we don't have link information. But we still get good cable length even if uh, a cable connected to a switch. On live wire with a 100 base link, I will use link blink function. Just press tool and activate function. Link blink is on. So link will be for one second on and one second off. Remove cable from Mikrotik and connect it to Terminator. 17.1 meters. So tester shows cable length very accurately, even if active connection or even if cable connected to powered off switch. Very impressive. Now not all TDR meters can do that. Shorting pin 1 to pin 2. Instant result on screen. Graph could be better. At this point we don't use half of sc uh, screen, but it still gives what I need fast. Shorting pin 4 to pin 5. And right now a little bit more complex combination. Pin A to pin 3 and 6. So it scrolls through shorted pairs. Notice at the bottom Ethernet device detected. That happens if pin 1, 2, 3 and 6 shorted. Now I'm testing uh, white ubiquity PoE adapter. In datasheet it said pin 4, 5 positive, uh, pin 7, 8 negative. And it should output 24 volts DC. I don't know why tester shows uh, pin 3 and pin 6 as negative pins. With black PoE adapter, same story. Voltage correct, but pin 3 and 6 uh, should not be marked as negative. 
Now connect it to Ubiquiti PoE switch. Voltage OK, pins OK, port speed correct. I will use Link Blink uh, on active PoE switch. Now I am testing Siemens Profinet cable. So pin 3 and 6 are OK. Missing pin 1 and 2. I wiggle one of the Profinet connectors. I get continuity on pin 1 and 2 and shield. So this jack is bad or bad termination. Also split pair sometimes appears. To test coax cable I need first to select coax mode. This is active DVB-T cable. It goes to splitter and then to DVB-T antenna. Antenna is not powered. So it shows 242 meters. So it shows nonsense. Disconnected coax cable from splitter. I have 10 meters open cable. That is correct result. Far side of the cable right now is terminated. With coax remote unit 1. Connected cable directly to antenna via FF barrel connection. So I get 15 meters to short, which is more or less correct. I don't have active phone line, so I can't test this mode, only with small patch cord. Basically you connect to phone line, it will show voltage, digital or analog line and give you cable length to open or short. Now case is very sturdy, made from nylon. I bought just stock package, so there is no additional terminator adapters. Uh, these are empty pockets for terminator adapters, if I choose to buy them later. So they give you two RJ45 to alligator clip cables, two shielded RJ45 to RJ45 patch cords, two RJ12 to RJ12 patch cords, one F-type plug to F-type plug, bunch of BNC and F adapters, there is empty sleeve for amplifier probe. To use this I select tone generation generator mode. There are four analogs and four digital tones. Here we can select tone all eight wires or select which pair to tone or even we can select which standalone wire to tone. Nice feature, but I don't have probe to test it. For me personal case is big. Even fluke uh, multimeter, it's way bigger, but it has a compact case. But if this tester will be shared between specialists, you need solid case. And this is really sturdy overkill of a case. On the other side, there is nice instruction how to use this tester. Overall, a really good TDR tester for this price. Totally recommended.